Hey everybody, uh, T welcome to a TGIF uh, a ver version of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, today I'm going to do another one from Bell's. Uh, appeared on the same on the sh on the shelf a couple days ago, same time as the uh, the uh, Hop Slam, and picked it up. Uh, slight disclaimer: I did have one of these the other night, so I have an initial opinion on them. I think this is a new one from Bell's. Um, it's their Smitten. They call it a golden rye ale. Um, it says, drawn from one of our oldest recipes, Smitten Ale begins as part of our series of began as a part of a series of rye beers that are at Center Cafe. The combination of sharp citrus and resinous flavors from the hops with the earthy rustic overtones of the rye malt contribution yield an interesting take on the American Pale Ale. Comes in at 6.0% ABV, so let me get this in the glass and see what we've got here. Just your standard Bell's cap, so no biggie there. That'll go in the recycle bin. Just about got it all in the glass. Okay, we got like a cloudy gold colored gold colored beer. Um, I don't know if this is bottle condition or not, but it's sort of got that lab and lamp look. Got a finger of a creamy, sort of whitish head. Nice looking, nice looking beer. Um, yeah, there are some chunks. I, this may be bottle condition. I don't know, but um, anyway, let me get a nose on it. Okay, I'm getting uh, some light citrus nose. Definitely getting that little rye spiciness uh, in there uh, some uh, light fruits like apples maybe but yeah you get a little citrus up front and then uh, then you get a little a uh, little of that uh, like bisky maltiness a little bit of that rye spiciness uh, a little earthiness but uh, not a real strong, uh, strong aroma, so let's give it a taste. Okay, um, yeah, getting the pale malts like right up front there, a little bit of honey, maybe a little citrus. Um, more wheat than rye, you're getting a little bit of that that rye spiciness and a little bit of hop uh, hop kick uh, mostly citrus um, uh, kind of like grapefruit maybe a little lemon not really getting that well maybe a little bit of that apple like taste but uh, not a lot of that um, the rye is kind of mild. There's um, not a lot of uh, a lot of that rye uh, rye spiciness in there. Um, at least not what I'd expect for something that they uh, have rye in the name. That's for sure. Um, kind of a light mouthfeel, uh, mild carbonation. It feels, it feels about medium bodied, but I think it's a little lighter than that. It's just the, the carbonation uh, makes it seem a little thicker than it is, so. Swish it around your mouth, the, the rye comes out a little bit more, but just on the initial taste where they're just washing through your mouth, um, you don't really, don't really get it so much. It's a, like I say, an American Pale Ale, so. Um, there are some rye characteristics there, but it's mostly uh, pale ale characteristics. Um, not not really as much hoppiness as I've really come to expect in American pale ale e pale ales either. But um, anyway, let me sit sip on this a while. Let it warm up a bit, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been. Uh, Oh, 20 minutes or so. I've been sipping on this. You know, I'm not really, really uh, sure what to think about this beer. Uh, 
it's a decent drinking drinking beer it's nothing special um, I've noticed as it's warmed up though there's a that sourness that is on the finish so it seems to linger a little bit it's almost like a to me it's almost like a, a vinegar sourness um, I'm still not getting a ton of rye in this um, most this is mostly uh, mostly those uh, those hops and almost almost a weediness but I'm really not getting a ton of rye um, I expect a little more rye I didn't know they said it. they did say pale ale um, they called it a pale ale so um, it's but I don't know why I mean I'm sure I'm sure there's rye in it but I don't know why they uh, why they why they uh, uh, put so much you know actually included that in the name um, it just there's not enough rye there for me to actually call this a, 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 a rye ale I mean it, it tastes like a, a lighter pale ale with maybe just a little bit of rye um, and a little bit of hops it's drinkable I won't have any problem drinking the others um, that sourness there at the end, that almost like vinegar sourness, just a little off-putting to me. It's, um, like I said, it's drinkable, but it's not very exciting. Uh, not boring, although it's getting close to boring, but it's definitely not an exciting beer. Nothing nothing innovative or uh, anything, you know, it's it'd be, this would be a great hot weather beer, that's for sure. And only 6%. Uh, Sitting out in the backyard in the summertime, uh, definitely be a great session beer, but uh, I don't know if this is going to be a year-round beer, if this is seasonal or not. I know it's new, I'm gonna, and uh, that's all I really know about it, so I'm going to give the uh, Bells Smitten their Golden Rye Ale, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's Above average, it's decent, it's drinkable, but definitely nothing, nothing innovative or anything like that that I would hope Bells would come up with. So, um, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.